What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to do this insane glowing chain trail effect. Didn't really know how to call it, but I just know it looks insane and I'm so excited to cover this with you guys. You will be a whole other editor after this. By the way, if you don't know me yet, my name is Gus. I run the Friendly File Store and which I saw editing packs, presets, and templates that are meant to make your job super easy as an editor. You can just drag and drop your presets, have crazy results, and totally transform your edits. So if you're interested by any of that, you can check the link down in the description. Now let's get in today's effect. All right, so this is what I cooked up. Like this is somewhat the effect that we're gonna do together. It looks insane. Like just look like the, the spike grudge, the chain, the echo. Oh my God, there's so much to cover. Let's get right into this. Let me start with this clip right here. So what we're gonna do is first off, we're just gonna duplicate our layer doing command D. This one, we're gonna type chain. All right, so now we're gonna rotoscope the chain right there see the one under i'm just gonna call it oh my god i almost just dropped this charger on my foot if you don't know like i torn my ankle too like a few days ago let's hope i can still walk by the end of this video i'm gonna call this bg so now we're gonna go double click on this right here so that we can rotoscope it so we're gonna grab the roto brush tool we gotta go into the footage tab right here we're just gonna select this so since it's like gray on black i feel like this is gonna do a pretty good job at least let's hope so just gonna try this there we go maybe get this all right so now we have our chain rotoscope so we're gonna freeze the roto very important and now the first effect that we're gonna apply is some glow real quick before we continue with the tutorial i need to put you onto my branded preset pack new wave effects v2 if you want to stand out as an editor, have crazy transitions, grungy transitions, trippy transitions, a bunch of presets that are going to make you stand out and that fit the whole new wave aesthetic from artists like Fake Mink, Ned Spen, Che, and many more, this is the pack for you. There are over 30 plus drag and drop presets that you can simply slap on any adjustment layer and will instantly transform your videos. This is one of my favorite packs I've ever made. Creators love it and I use it on every single one of my projects. The presets will be sent to you instantly after you purchase. If you want to copy it, I'll even have a code for 15% off down below make sure you check it out with that said let's get right into this tutorial you can use the default glow that's in after effects but i don't like it as much as you can see like the glow is not that good so i'm gonna use deep glow uh, it's a plugin that you can go cop if you want so now as you can see we already have a pretty cool glow effect i think i want to add a flicker effect to our chain as well so let's drag exposure put it before we're gonna do alt click because we're gonna animate like the the light let's do wiggle parenthesis then let's say like 12 and then two let's see if that's too much or if that's fine that way we should have like a nice a nice flicker to it yeah that looks pretty cool let's let's try to see if we can like take it up a notch I did 12 fives. Oh, that's insane. That is super cool. So now we have a cool glow effect, but now we're gonna add this light rays effect. All right, so let's type CC light rays, the effects and presets, and we're gonna slap it on. So how this works is wherever the center is, it's gonna basically shine. So when we drag it on there, as you can see, you get this like these light rays right here. So we're gonna go at the beginning actually, and then let's put it where it's at. Now we want it to follow it or else it's gonna be like this. So we're gonna do, we're gonna keyframe the stopwatch on the center. And then when it moves, boom, we're gonna put it back a few frames further. Every time it moves, you just follow it. Like this is, pretty easy to do actually of course if it's a long clip it takes time but since it's like a second long like it's like we're we're good we're good we're good we're good let's see and then nice that's hard that's super sick did you notice that despite the fact that the chain effect we're doing right now it's like not standing out that much that's because all of it is in the details so we're gonna do first off like background we're gonna make it like black and white add some grunge to it like those details like i'm gonna show you let's go i think first off like what we need 
to begin the scene is like some impact like some sort of shakes like they always look so good on these type of clips right here so i'm just gonna add a shake by adding a new adjustment layer i'm gonna go into my new wave fx v2 presets like this is like my best editing pack i'd say for like that kind of style like basically all of the effects that's gonna stand out like really like trending right now so i'm gonna add viral red hit that one is crazy let me just add it to the adjustment layer and then boom you get this super clean shake just wanted to add this shake because it looks super tough if you don't have new wave effects v2 yet i'll link it down below so now we're gonna make the background this like black and white effect so let's type lumetri color we're gonna go into basic correction let's keyframe the saturation at the beginning and then when it's like that we're gonna make it zero like that bam maybe we could do it like a little yeah that's clean oh it's like black and white but i think i'm gonna keep it like not zero or like maybe 25 percent i just don't want it to be as saturated now we're gonna create that sort of effect like where it adds contrast and it feels like it's getting like more and more intense like darker let's do that we're gonna add a new adjustment layer and then we're gonna add the curves effect let's slap it on there and then let's keyframe the stopwatch and then at that point right here i think we're just gonna make it like the whole time get like darker and darker so we're gonna grab the low lights then as you can see we're getting more and more focused onto the chain so at the end it's gonna be like that so throughout you see what i mean that looks super clean oh that looks insane and now we're also gonna add a vignette to it so a vignette is really gonna help us kind of like focus on what we need to focus on so at the beginning the amount will be zero and then right there it's gonna be yeah maybe like like that we can drag it on a little and then we're gonna keyframe the center and basically do like the same thing that we did uh with the glowing chain just like follow it a bit it doesn't have to be like that precise just like keep up with it a little that way the focus is always on the chain bam bam there we go that is super clean now we're now we're gonna do this super sick like echo effect like we're really down to the details but it's what like really makes you stand out as an editor like the little details and as you know on this channel we're not basic editors we always sauce things up to the max so i'm gonna show you how to make this like trail effect so the chain i'm gonna duplicate it and then i'm gonna remove uh i think just like the light raise effect on the one under so i'm just gonna type chain echo and we're gonna go into the effects and presets and grab the echo effect now let's slap it on before the deep glow and we're gonna have three of those let's reduce the decay make it maximum let's just isolate this to see what we're looking at right now now we're just gonna add a tint effect so i basically want to make the white red instead so now let's uncheck this to see what we have that is so clean holy shit you, that is insane that is insane bro like we just cooked i'm not gonna lie we cooked now lastly i'm gonna show you how we can create this like displacement effect it's kind of like distortion so the chain is gonna distort kind of like the environment the background so that is like the the final touch so we're gonna grab the two layers for the chain and the echo as well and let's just call this chain and now basically the chain is gonna be used as a displacement map so what a displacement map is based on what this is what the pixels are it's gonna like distort the background so so the best way i can explain it to you is by showing you we're gonna go to effects and presets and choose the blob is it blobalize we're gonna slap it on the background so as you can see get like this sort of like blob in the like bubble effect i don't know like this kind of like prone effect we're just gonna associate it with the chain so now if we look solely at our background we should see if we have a sort of like displacement effect going on as you can oh we kind of do yeah we kind of do right here like the the shining lights as well let's just see if we can put more emphasis on that i'll make the softness like 40 let's say let's see if that does anything for us not really 
yeah something like that is cool now let's look at what that looks like it just adds that like extra distortion which i love super fire with that said let's look at our final result so that was it for today thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video and if it brought you any value please consider subscribing also let me know in the comments what type of tutorials you want to see next on this channel also if you're looking for some really fire editing packs just like new wave effects v2 i'll have that link down below with that said i'll see you guys in the next one peace